Guys, I want to share a conversation I had with someone about self-help books and spiritual books. So this is going to apply to anyone who is in the self-help or spiritual development community and seemingly obsessed with reading self-help spiritual books. What I see out there are, it's this self-help pornography, right? Just reading book after book. Some of my friends, they have hundreds of these books, okay? And you might say, well, what's the problem with that? Okay, um, aren't they learning from these books? To be honest, no, they're not learning anything from these books. I am not against self-help books. I am not against spiritual texts of any kind but here is the problem okay let's say you pick up a book and you have a problem in your life or you're lacking motivation or whatever it may be and you read a book and it's helpful okay and for a while you think yeah that was a good book I'm glad I read that book and a week later you're in the bookstore again you're having a look around the self-help section spiritual section and you pick up another one because it looks really good so you read that book and you know this goes on and on and what you have at the end of it is you know if I was to ask you that book you read last month tell me about that book they might be able to tell me some of the ideas from the book maybe okay they might even have a good grasp of some of the ideas but they haven't actually lived it they haven't studied it in detail okay really applied the book so I've written a couple of books and you know those books are important to me but in terms of what I've read myself I've read I used to read a lot of books and I kind of found spotted this process in myself where you know these books I felt that they're all saying the same thing and the truth is at a fundamental level they are all saying the same thing you know, they all say things like you're in control of your own life, you create your own reality, um, you're not helpless, you know, there is hope, etc., etc. But I realized that I took, I'll give you the two books that I read, okay? One of them was a book, it was um, The Now Habit by Neil Fiore, and it was about um, procrastination, time management, etc. That book changed my life, okay? But I read that book inside out, upside down, back ways. The other book, from a spiritual point of view, and it's the only book I read on spirituality, really, is A Course in Miracles, okay? I don't read any other um, spiritual texts. That's what I try, at least, to apply in my day-to-day -day life. So what I'm saying here is, if you find a self-help book that speaks to you, really stay with that book until you have fully integrated what it has to tell you okay don't put it down don't think you're oh, well i've read it that's it i understand it now you stay with that book for months if need be maybe for years of course in miracles for me is a book i will read probably for the rest of my life okay even um, the now habit uh, by neil fiore is a book that i periodically i go back to and i dip into if i feel like i'm some of that old programming I had is coming back in. So, bottom line here, guys, stop the self-help pornography. It helps when you're feeling bad. It sounds like, oh, this is an idea. I can implement this. But are you implementing? Are you actually doing what the book says? Are you living what the book says? Okay. So, in the comments below, what I'd like to hear are, if you see this video, what books are you going to start living by really fully implementing okay maybe one or two three at the max okay and certainly like in the course of a year you should only be looking at one book that you're really going to integrate into your life fully okay there's no brownie points in my eyes for saying this year i read 25 books okay well okay did you go deep with any of them you couldn't have right so read one or two let me know below what those books may be for you i'm not saying there's um, the same books for everybody. Not everyone should read A Course in Miracles. Not everyone will like Neil Fiore's book. But what are the books you would recommend for other people? And what are the books that you think 
you're going to try and read this year um, that will the book that you're going to integrate this year that's going to help you the most okay guys um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time